Right, I keep, I've just finished my Sunday Q&A. I keep saying I've got to do a video on the barn, and there's only so many times that you can say something before thinking, yeah, I really got to do this. Uh, Mike Sherry said in the comments a little while ago, he said he's class two out of Bedford, he's got an archaeology degree, he said, how did you get yourself a Tudor barn? <laughs> Driving a truck. Uh, David Calvary says, why go tramping when you live here? And a domain name guy says recently, he says, you know, you know, like you're short of a fiver. So here's the story, guys. Um, I've been in this house for 18 years now. Um, when I bought it, it was just shell. There was just, there was no grass, there was no garden, there was no floor. And um, what happened was, I was living in a gaff in Luton, and at the time I was running the markets and I had three vans on the road. I mean, I've been, I've, I've made a lot of money, and then I've made very little money, and now I'm making okay money, but it's increasing. So, please, fingers crossed, make long it can continue. Um, and I'm telling you all this, I don't want to be flash, and I don't want to be, oh, look at him in his big house, what's all that about? Um, so, we were looking to move, my mum parked her car outside the house, and then she went down and someone had smashed in, and went, I thought, I've had enough of this. And the kid, and I was where I was living in Luton, I was driving 20 minutes to pick the van up to go to work in the morning, um, from just up the road, where I park my truck now, and the kid was going to school in the village 20 minutes in the other direction, and soon she was going to have to go to school 40 minutes in the other direction, and it was like, this is daft, this doesn't make any sense, so we, and also the family had all moved over here. My, my, my dad had moved over here, um, my mum had moved to Spain, um, and um, my wife's parents lived over here, and we kind of went, so you kind of see it, and I went, we used to go down a pub, used to go uh, stay with my in-laws and we go down to a local pub and there's a house next door and it's like a doll's house beautiful and it was all boarded up this whole area when i used to know it was all boarded up and there was weeds growing over it and it was derelict there's a house next door and it's like a chocolate box house you know the door in the middle like draw as a kid two windows three windows and i went one day i'm going to live there and i was close i missed it by about 20 yards She's my neighbour, we share a driveway. But so what happened was, I'm sitting there one night, and you've got to bear in mind, it's going back 17 years now. 17 years, is there was like self-certification. They was handing out mortgage on street corners. You got enough money? Yep, yep, there you go, a mortgage. Mortgage, you want a mortgage? Because mortgages, mortgage. Um, it's not like it was now. And um, I watched this thing on the telly about teachers. And these teachers, he said, what, they said, what most people do is they buy a house and when they get like near to, you know, they, they pay a bit of it off and then they build a bigger house and they got another house and then they got another house and slowly but surely they get a nicer home. He said, but what we did is we got a very average house, like a two up, two down house. So when the price went up of the two up, two house, we borrowed the money on the house and bought the two up, two down next door and then we rented it. And then when the, two, when the house went up on those two, a little bit, we borrowed out of both of them and bought the one next door. And when it went up on the three, we bought the money out of the three of them and bought the one next door. And it slowly got quicker and quicker and quicker. Um, and I'm looking at this and, I'm, and I said to the missus, I said, do you realise that if we buy a house interest only, we can have double the house? Because the house I owned in Luton at the time, I bought it for 180, it sold for 280. And um, I said, so we can then, Get one for you know the mortgage. If we get the mortgage interest only, rather than being able to borrow like you know 280, we can borrow 500 because we're only having to pay the interest, not the interest plus the principal. And I thought she'd say absolutely no way, and she went all right. I went okay. Then she found this place, driving past it. It was all being done up, and I went in. And of course, what's not to love? I always wanted to either Merlin's house out of um, Sword and Stone. All these interesting things around, like metronomes and little planes and globes and all that kind of stuff. Or Jeff Goldblum's house in the fly. It's a great big open space with like you know a teleport over there and a computer over there and a bed over there and a kitchen over there. And I thought that's really cool. Um, and anyway, the opportunity to arrive to buy this place arose, so we bought it. We got gazumped, but we got it, and it has been the family home. And since then. At some stages, the interest rate has gone up. I've been paying £2,200 a month on this place. Some stages, it went down low as 200 quid. The markets went down. I struggled. I did everything I possibly could. Oh, we was in the red. We built our credit cards. I got psoriasis. It's sort of, I used to wake up every morning coughing, terrorised, panicking, and thinking, what am I going to do? And then this courier exchange thing came along. And since I've been on that, I've managed to get everything back under control. 
thank God for it. But I didn't fight for it because it's flesh. I fought for it because it's my home. And we're the only people who've ever lived here. And don't get me wrong, several times I've tried to sell it, to get out, and you think, well, I'll go and buy something cheaper, I'll go and move somewhere else, I'll go and do something else. And every time we tried to do it, it just didn't work out. Whatever we were, you know, if we, if we sold it, then we'd have to rent somewhere, we'd have to rent somewhere that cost twice as much and we'd still be renting, or we'd go and move over there, but then we're away from Lisa's mum and she's kind of needs, you know, she's a bit poorly sometimes. And... It's, I mean, you know, what's not the love? I mean, when I moved in for the first three, three months, I thought, three weeks, I thought, I didn't know if I was going to, I kept going down like this. It's 25 foot high, 25 foot wide, 25 foot high, 60 foot long. And don't get me wrong, that's the house. The rest of it out the back is three, three bedrooms, two decent sized, one medium sized bedroom and a bathroom. And it's got a nice garden. And I like my garden, I love my garden. It's something I never thought I'd get into, but I did. But um, and, uh, it is fabulous. But at the moment, because it's interest only, and with the rate of interest, it's currently costing me 550 quid a month to live here. The snag is, I will never own it. And I think my mortgage runs out in about eight, nine years' time. So I've got to do something in the next eight, nine years' time, because my wife wants to be carried out of here in a box. I'm hoping I can nick a few quid and maybe knock some of it off. And then maybe go back to them and say, look, well, look, it's worth this much now, and I owe this much. Is there any chance you could lend me a bit more dough? They'll say yes or no. But then I've always been, I've always said this, I've always liked worrying about it later. Live by the seat of my pants. If you're not living on the edge, you take up too much room. And it's not always been an easy life as a result of it, but it's been a less ordinary one. But now the house itself is beautiful. It is 400, year, you know, it's 200 year old barn, but the beams are taken off of ships which were also 200 years. Those beams are 400 years old. And I'm an incredibly lucky man to live here. And I say, I make these videos, I sit, it's in my front room, bizarrely. But I, 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 could, I could just as easily have done it in my bedroom. I could just have easily always done the Sunday Q&A in the truck. But I was always kind of hoping that maybe one day somebody will watch it. You know, you do these things where you can put your house out, you can rent it out for movie things, and you have to move out for a week or two, and they come and they shoot, and they pay you dough for it. And I always thought one day somebody might watch it and go, do you know what, that's the one we need for our new film. It never happened, so that's it. My home, I might continue. Um, yeah, like I say, lads, I'm not being flash. I just kind of got lucky sometimes, it, and it has been hard. But at the moment, fingers crossed, it's okay. So that's just the story between the house. So um, oh, we've got no addition. That thing over there, the wife, uh, there, the wife wanted it for Mother's Day. She's lovely, strange. For her fiftieth birthday, we got cactus there. For her Mother's Day, we got a large white ball. I think if uh, Patrick, what's his name, out of the prison to come in, he'd be terrified. What you gonna do? In the meantime, I'm gonna carry on doing what I do and hopefully get this place locked down because I'm going to take care and take money.